Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to They Are Billions. It's a, well, it's kind of like a city management game, but also zombie survival. I don't entirely know what it's about. I know a number of other YouTubers have already gotten their mitts on this, and have, like, uh, really, really gotten into it. And I was like, oh, that looks great, and I immediately clicked away from the video, because I wanted to learn it myself. Anyway, what are we going to name this? We're going to call this, uh, Fort... Uh, Fort Awesome. And see, so map terrain, dark moorland, can't go to the other ones. Let's see, 100 days. Let's do 120 days. To win the game, you have to create a colony and stay alive for the duration of the game. The hordes of the infected are the same regardless of the duration success uh, selected. Therefore, the longer the duration, the easier the game. So you'll have more time to build up your defenses before the horde arrives. Okay. Medium population. Um, I'm just going to set it to low. F kind of like not challenging. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to have it a little bit lower than usual, so we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get going. This music is very loud. I've been listening to it for the last half hour while I was kind of like pseudo-napping. And, uh, it is maybe a bit too epic for me. We'll see. So I have no idea what I'm doing, and I have no idea how this is going to go. Okay, so we have soldiers, we have rangers, we have the command center, the command center is working on something. Is there a tutorial for this game? I should probably actually check that. Let's save and exit out for a second. Uh, there is a help, uh, so I'll check the help in a second. I just want to see if there's a functional tutorial of any variety. Nope, I guess there's just help. Real time with pause. Okay, so I can press space to pause whenever. That's actually really helpful. Command center. Entire colony is managed there. Infection. Always protect your colony. Uh, if the infected attack a building and enter it, the building will become infected. All the colonists or workers there will be infected and attack other buildings. Okay. You gotta feed your guys. Gotcha. Storable. We've got wood, gold, oil. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to continue Fort Awesome, and I am just going to, uh, fail horribly. So is this an RTS? Sort of, yeah. It looks like it's kind of inspired by, uh, by RTS mechanics, but obviously it has its own, own flares. This might work? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna tell these guys to, uh, to chase. It'd be kind of neat if I could, uh, have them as a, as a group. For now, though, I think I'm just going to play win or lose. Uh, win or lose, like, I mostly just want to learn. Oh, boy, he's smart. Let's see. I still can't. Okay. I, I'd set this game to be uh, full screen so I could pan to the right. Uh, how do I pan to the right, actually? That's an interesting question. Can I? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's do options, controls. Okay, laptop. Camera movement with WASD. Yeah, so I can't, uh, I can't actually pan the, uh, I can't actually pan the game around, uh, with the traditional setup because I've got dual monitor set up and this game is not apparently set up for it. Okay, so let's pause. And let's figure out what we're gonna do. So we have Hunter Cottage, produces food by hunting animals from the surroundings. Food from surrounding sea cells. Must be placed near a water s source. Food 21, food 28. Can I just like... Okay, so I can't put it out there. I have to put it on one of these. Do so food 14, food 14, food 16. And I'll get like a hunter cottage. It looks like uh, being near the forest is better. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So that's resources, sawmill, and quarry. We need wood and gold. So I guess I'm just going to wait for gold to roll in. So I can get my hands on a sawmill next. Let us see. <laughs> Apparently somebody is pulling a, uh, is, is doing a drinking game based on whenever I say the word okay. You are going to be drunk and then dead by the end of the night. I can only guarantee. Holy crap. I actually, I really like the, uh, I really like the visual for this game. It's somewhere between, like, uh, oh, I want to say Don't Starve 
And I don't actually know what the other one would be. Let's see. Well, these guys are doing a decent job of clearing the infected out. Luckily, the infected aren't uh, coming in droves. Nope, that's wood. Probably from collecting something. Should probably move these characters over here. Might as well, uh... Might as well have everybody moving as a group. Okay, so we want to do, back to this, resources, sawmill. Ten, eight, eight, six, nine. I think that'll be fine. I don't know, I don't necessarily know if we have to worry about all of these zombies immediately. But, uh, my logic is if I can, uh... If I can sp spread my group out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move these guys back. They really should probably move as a group. Okay, so it's Q to attack. I like that. That's decent controls. I don't think any of them got, uh... Got particularly hit there. I'll have to see if I can actually build, like, a geothermal plant off of that. But yes. I will make sure my military is a little bit better set up for that. Okay, can I get the quarry next? Stone three, stone three, stone three, stone three. Yeah, not exactly uh, the height of industry, but that that's okay. All right, so we're slowly dealing with that, like, mini horde. I don't actually know if we need to worry about them, but... Now, are trees a renewable resource or not in this game? Because that's actually something I, I would like to know ahead of time. Okay, that's that's a vulture. We should probably come back. Once we're done with this group, I'll probably come back down uh, to the base and kind of clear the map in this general area. Okay, we have defenses. So we have basic wood walls. Quarry is done. Industry. Warehouse. Storage of resources. Complex structures made out of wood. Energy. Tesla tower. Okay, so I would build it on the edge of this. Any orders? Let me put an arrow in your chest. Take my arrow. My bow is ready. Okay. We've got a bad group coming in. Uh We got surrounded and they're coming faster than I thought they were going to. And unfortunately I'm I probably should have actually just run away. Okay, well, whatever. We lost one guy. I don't know if that was, uh... I don't know if this is worth it or not. I'm assuming these guys are... I mean, they are billions. They're, there's probably an infinite number of undead. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get down here. It looks like I'm going to be expanding down. And I should focus on my immediate surroundings. I'm probably going to have to restart repeatedly over the course of... Uh, over the course of this. Now, it looks like this... This does not have saves coming. Where's my soldier? Ah. S soldier is very slow. Okay. Yeah, lots of... Lots of rock. This is going to be a, a small base, comparatively. Let me see. What else do we do? Oof. The audio is kind of breaking. Uh, let's see. Can I get a... So we need more workers. And we need more stone. I hope I can just stack the tents up next to each other. Let's see, do they have spotlights? I don't know if they have spotlights. That's an interesting question, though. But yeah, I just want to... Oh, boy. I think I might actually... Here. I'm going to do this before we go too far. Uh, unit voices. Goodbye. I don't want to be hearing these characters being like, straight to the heart, over and over and over again. That was something as a kid, I didn't mind unit voices, but now that I'm, um, now that I'm doing this stuff professionally, it's like, I don't really want to, I don't really want to listen to just recycled noises over and over and over again. So this is still kind of an iffy spot. 
but we'll see. Okay, so first and foremost, let's do defense. We have gates. So, okay, so we actually have to get uh, Tesla Towers first. Generates energy for the colony. Okay, so I want to build Tesla Towers on the corners here. I, what? Are there zombies there? Ah, shoot. <laughs> it's actually really tempting to just start over immediately, now that I kind of maybe know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna keep going. Let's see. So we've built that, so we we wanna... Oh, it's enter to go back to here. We wanna get some defenses down. Enemies are too close to this location. What? Oh, there is a there is a zombie shambling up. Okay. Oh, yep. There they are. I can't see them for fog of war. Okay. Looks like Wanderer's about to lose already. It's um It's not going so hot. I don't, I'm not exactly a fan. I really wish I could actually have diagonal walls here. But, oh well. Can I make a... I should, probably should have made a gate now that I'm thinking about it. Can I just plop a gate over one of these? Yes. Cool. Okay, let's bring this back because it looks like we've got more zombies rolling in from this direction. Okay, looks like the gates are going to take a while. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, going out... Hmm. I'm not a really big fan of this spot, period. Yeah, let's let's reboot. I've, I've already taken some damage. I've already lost a, a unit. This is going to take a couple of retries until I'm, like, really, uh... Until I'm, like, really comfortable with how, how things go. We want a fair amount of space, and we want access to a fair amount of, like, uh, raw resources, which I don't immediately have. Episode 1 for this game is just going to be a mess. I I apologize for that now, but learning is hard. Walls can be placed diagonally. Yeah, I just figured that out uh, looking at it. It just was not obvious immediately. Okay, uh... Ugh. Well, we have a hell of a lot of wood. It's a very cramped spot, though. Who builds this place? It's like, I'm gonna put my base down. Uh, right between a rock and a... Lake. That, that's, that's proper locations, yes? Actually, this might be okay. It looks like we've got a fair amount of something or other here. Natural formations. What is this? Tavern of Doom. Oh. Uh. Yeah, no. Let's... no. <laughs> Let's not have our base bordering on a Tavern of Doom. I almost kind of wish this game uh, had like the Civ style thing. Where you had like a little... Uh, where you had like a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of time to like... Pick like a, a proper spot. Good spot. Plop a fishery next to and double wall both sides. Uh, not next to the Tavern of, Do Tavern of Doom though. Ish. Okay, this looks a little bit more promising. We've already got a lot of room from the outset. Yeah, I kind of wish I could save scum uh, just a little bit. Okay, that's a hell of a lot of whatever that material is. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this spawn a fair bit better. That's a whole hell of a lot of zombies, though. But it's at least promising. Gives us some room. Nice... Water-based barriers. Can the zombies get through the trees? Okay, I think I think this is promising enough. 
but I'm willing to work on it. We've had we have too many zombies over there, but I'll just deal. Okay. Uh, let's see. So do we have energy? Yes. Just gonna plop that there. Go back. Let's get some basic tents down. I don't know where they're going to be attacking from, but this section probably is safe. Okay. Scout this out. So that's kind of a natural barrier. Yeah, can the zombies get through trees? I, I mean, I'm assuming the answer is yes. As a, That's a bunch there. Okay, Wanda, remember farms can only go in the green. Was not aware of that, actually. You say remember, but, like... I didn't even know that to begin with. I mean, we have some green to work with. No, we actually have minimal on the green side. Let's see. So they can, but they're very slow. <sighs> okay, so this... This is not a, uh, a safe spot. This forest here is probably going to be where I want to get my lumber from. As a whole hell of a lot of dudes. Okay. Power. Yeah, we have no gold. Well, I guess I'm going to slowly work on this side. Because it looks like this is kind of the uh, safer direction for me to hang out in. I don't know, it seems like both sides are going to be rough. But I'll just start plopping walls quick, I think. Once I have basic resources. Let's pause. Okay, so we have this up here. So, can I get a re reiteration on this one? Uh, the force... Our like lifts do not deplete. Uh... Yeah, I'm like, I'm not sure if I want to just immediately try walling off, like, whole areas here. Okay, I'm gonna undo these buildings. We need, we need wood pretty bad. Can I get resources? We're gonna need food. Wood 8, 9. I'm just gonna put that there. And we'll get a fisherman, fisherman cottage. And I'll probably move the soldier back to the base fairly soon. Because we're probably going to need him on defense. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, at least we've got the lumber situation kind of sort of sorted for a little, little bit. So what kind of resource is this? Uh, actually, maybe I can check. No, it doesn't really look like it. Let's see, so we got the saw bl uh, sawmill going. Uh, so, oh, we've got stone, we've got iron, we've got oil. So this is probably... Brown is probably stone, and gray is probably iron. Just based on rarity of both resources. Need 30 wood. Well, I could get a... Oh, they can't be that close to each other. Oh, no energy access. That's why. Yeah, gun guy is drawing the horde. It's okay. He's barely drawing the horde. However, yeah, I'll move him back. Unfortunately, he's an idiot and doesn't know how to path. I'll just stick him up over there. Let's see. So what do we what do we do? So we've got power coming, but it's expensive. We've got wood coming, but it's slow. I'll definitely want to get some more lumber mills up in here. 
Okay, so we have the Tesla Tower. Let's see, life is good. I should probably actually tell them to attack move north a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh. It's bad when they split up. It'd be kind of neat if you could uh, tell them to only move as a squad. That said, we've got at least some, like, decent natural barriers right here that I might be able to exploit. I keep him out so he can get veteran and send one of the rangers back. Oh, do they have, like, an experience m meter? Okay. Well, it doesn't look like he's drawing enough of the horde. I... Th nope, nope. Yeah, we do have to deal with interlopers. Unfortunately, we don't have walls yet. I don't know. I'm going to probably keep him there. Let's keep exploring around. Oop. That fog of war is limiting. Yeah, because we've got a whole lot of spots, but... Not a lot of room. And unfortunately, these guys are going to kind of start... Is that them being scared, or did they get infected? Unfortunately, I have no idea what most of this stuff means. Uh, let's see. Let's pause. I've got some resources now. So I'm going to start expanding my influence area yet again. Because I'm going to want some walls up. He's at 37%. Oh! Experience. There we go. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. What else can I build? I don't have much. I wanted to get a quarry down, but we needed the, the wood. Now that's a hunter cottage. Let's just get some more... Another tent down. Yeah, wall fast and build a tower. Well, I do have some wood. Once this tower is done, I'll build a wall there. Is that enough? Or can they walk diagonal? I'm not... I'm gonna err on the side if I don't trust it. Because what I want to do is put a, a wall, like, right over here. This is my first time playing. Yep. Yeah, I've never... I've never played this game before. So this is going to be a, uh... This is going to take, uh, some learning on my hand. You can probably walk diagonally. Yeah, but, uh, can they walk through a diagonal space? Like that. That's, that's the real question. Let's see. What do we need for military? A lot more than I've got. See how are these guys doing? Oop, back up a bit. And once these guys hit veteran, that'll probably make life a little bit easier. Now is veteran the maximum? Oop. Hello, we have a friend. We have a friend kind of in the area. And we have friendos coming. Okay. I'm just going to run back from that. We have been noticed, but that's okay. Because we only got noticed by a couple. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm going to grab two of them. We're going to go down here, because I do want to get those walls up. 
Okay. Industry? No. Defense. Walls. Yeah, I can't quite do it. I really wish there was, like, a, a build copy button. That would be actually really nice. Well, we are going to have food aplenty. Okay, veteran is maximum, but it does increase stats by a decent amount. That's good. I just want to expand this way. Oh, I probably have enough resources at this point to build the uh, the quarry. No, damn it. Our buildings are being attacked. You useless... Uh, is there... Okay, there's a repair. Repairs are expensive, though. Damn. Okay. Yeah, don't let the zombies touch the cottages. Oh, I'm aware. I... I've looked into what that it... What that entails. And it is not a, uh... It's not a good thing. Okay. I should probably make that gate. See, defenses, wood gate, right there. And can I actually do defenses, wood tower? Because chances are nothing's going to be coming by this set of walls. At least not for a while. So I can just kind of leave that. Okay. Oh, that's a worker. <laughs> I thought that was a zombie. Scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, so I'm going to have them hold position and these guys are slowly picking them off. This is good. Do we have enough for a quarry yet? No, we're still waiting on 30 wood. Well... Uh, could I actually get a... no. Okay, so I need to get another tent. Hopefully we get some better uh, population management later. I'm just going to leave him in, in that tower. That'll just be his job. Yeah, unfortunately, my uh, my laborers have kind of very similar animations to my, uh, my zombies, which is a problem. Okay, so I probably should just focus on hella, hella tents for a little while. Resources. Yeah, still not enough workers. I'll just leave these guys as gate guards for a little while. I don't know what I'm going to do about this side. I could go, like, crazy walls, but I don't know if that's a good idea. It might just be best to, like, kind of run some walls between my natural barriers. We're safe for a bit. I, this area looks a little easier to wall off. It actually looks like expanding down here might be doable. Yeah, no, it actually... We've got some spots. Damn it, as soon as I leave the area. <laughs> okay, so... I guess I should probably start uh, expanding my power network down here. And we'll get uh, some towers with this. Okay. So next up, resources, quarry. Stone eight, stone nine. Yeah, we've got fairly big hordes. And looks like this guy's just going to be up here forever. So how many people can you actually store in this thing? It doesn't say. It just says units. Okay. 
So we probably want to just keep building these tents. We will need more. So I've got approximately what? 120 days to do this? How are we doing on power? Okay. So I'm probably just going to want to start working on this entire group. Hello! Okay, so we can get a mayor. I uh, want to choose a mayor that makes you feel safe. Ashley Dahl grants extra protection to your town. Or shooting for the stars. Let's go, uh, protection. So, Wood Tower 2. That guy's a little bit clo uh, close for comfort. So, how's this area down here? Fairly quiet looking. That's good. Alright, uh, let's see. Can I do energy, Tesla Tower? Perfect. This site over here is going to be a problem. Laura gives an auto turret. Oh, sorry. I, I'll i learn. I The nice part is this game has a, a, a hard cap time limit. Uh, which will make it a little easier. In the grand scheme of things. Okay, so he's doing his job. Unfortunately, these guys are rolling in kind of quick. Okay, so we want to do defenses. Pause. Uh, Ranger unit is now veteran. Hey, nice. Okay, so we want to do defenses. One, two, three, four. Can I just get a... Tab to rotate the structure. Huh. None of this works great. Yeah, this is just kind of bad. Uh, let's see. What's the grand scheme of where I can build here? Nowhere good. Well, defenses... I'll put the gate down first. And then we'll build the walls. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. And if I put down a wood tower, it's 10 wood and 120 gold. Yeah, I can afford that. Actually, maybe I want to do it in reverse. Let's do defense. This here. And we want to do wood wall. Okay, so hopefully that'll all connect together. These guys are still busy. And I'm probably not going to load anybody into that tower for a little while. Okay, so what am I missing on this? More workers, more wood. Okay, so we need more food. Food 14, food 12. Okay, so... You have to, uh, you have to spread out the, uh, the fishing. Good to know. Well, that should help. I believe the fishing cottages actually do afford a small amount of, uh, uh, population. So at least I don't have to worry about it too much there. Okay. So do we have two veterans in both areas? No. We've got one veteran down here. Oh, backing up game. Huh. Eventually, I'd like to clear out most of these places and give myself some wiggle room. But, well, right now I'm just going to be happy having this kind of functional spot. Where? Down here? Oh, I can't see it. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. There's just Zambos hanging out in here. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to leave them there for the time being. 
Oh, she's killing them slow. Cannot repair while there are enemies nearby. Okay. So next up, defenses. How do we even deal with this? I'm not really sure. Okay, so we want to do defense. Can I do like a gate right here? That's actually probably bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we're low on wood. Well, I'll get more. Yeah, ideally I'd actually like to make a, a wall around the guard tower. I assume you can just shoot straight over it. Let me see. So I'm just going to put a tower like smack dab in the middle. Oh! That could have gone badly. Okay, so she's fine. These are fine. Yeah, we we want more military units so I can expand. <sighs> Need 20 wood and 8 workers, and I've got 5 workers? Okay. Oh, blocks access to other buildings. I guess I can spread out my, uh, my tent access a little bit. Let's see, you have free wooden towers in the bonus section of the build menu. Oh, that's what it is. I actually thought, uh, I actually thought the wooden towers too was like an upgrade, not free wooden towers. Well, guess I know now. Yeah, I'll go for the, uh, I'll go for Ballista Lady in the future. Okay. So let's start clearing out this zone. One of these two is getting close. Can I do military yet? Now we just need wood. Well, another eight hours and we'll have it. So we're already quote unquote 10% of the way done. That's worrying. I guess it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. I'm probably just going to lose. Horde's going to show up and I'm just going to get uh, slammoed right in the everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. You motherfuck. That went poorly. Uh... I did not realize the power... I did not realize the power plant would do this, but that's okay. Yeah, this game has a really steep learning curve. Yeah, I can tell. It's kind of awful. Why are you guys shooting the distant enemies, you morons? I... oh no. Well, I think I... I think... yeah. I'm not coming back from that. I might be able to, but I don't think I'm coming back from that. Losing a bunch of structures right before being able to get my military structures is rough. Especially because I, I needed some of that. Uh, I really needed some of that stuff. That, this game is hard. And I, I guess that's actually the, uh, the end of the first episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>